We wanted to work on something that involved the latest and greatest in computing and looking at all sorts of online forums and such that look to be GPU processing, just because when you think about it, you've got one card with over 100 cores on it. Well, what if we parallelize these cards? What if we try to get a cluster of these cards working together? That presents a lot of challenges, but if you can get over those, then you're going to see phenomenal performance gains. So if we wanted to, we could buy quad-core processors, put them into four different systems, link them together, have a networking nightmare, and hope for the best. Instead, we decided to buy two cards, and it's worked out pretty well. Well, we started actually with uh, thinking we want to work on a project, and we want to do a high-performance computing project, and C NVIDIA's CUDA seemed like the newest thing, the next thing to try, so we then decided to try bioinformatics from there. So really, the bioinformatics was an excuse to get to play with CUDA. I gotcha. <laughs> well, this project was all about uh, parallelizing and speeding up bioinformatics codes like Smith Waterman and it's still under progress so we don't have any official numbers on that yet but just as proof of concept there were a couple of projects before this one uh, on the simple end of things mul matrix multiplication for example and that was seeing incredible speed ups uh, before optimizing memory access patterns we were seeing speed ups on the order of 10 I mean multiplying thousand plus element by thousand plus element matrix matrices together in less than five seconds so it's it's very cool to see what the system can do um, another project that was worked on and I didn't work on this one but it saw even better performance gains of calculating Voronoi diagrams where the speed ups before CUDA went through an or I'm sorry, before the uh, programmer went through CUDA and optimized all of the memory access patterns, he was seeing speed ups in the, around 10. But then he optimized it to take advantage of as much of uh, the memory access patterns that he could. And that jumped from 10 up to 70, 60 or 70. So you definitely get a lot of performance gains from these cards. Well, the system itself is, it's a water-cooled system with two graphics cards in there, so it's one of the better systems that the university has, so that's raised a little bit of attention. <laughs> They're all interested about uh, why we built it, what we're doing with it, and it's actually right now being used uh, as a teaching aid in both undergraduate and gra graduate level courses. We, when we originally built it, the 8800 was the hot card on the market, and uh, now you've got 9800s and then a couple of new ones that yeah, no, the letters and numbers are slipping my mind. But uh, So we're looking at uh, either getting a couple more 8800s. Uh, the board supports four cards. That was the plan from the start, is to have four cards, at least 512 processors. But with it, how the market is right now, we thought, well, we can get a new card and have a heterogeneous system and try to conquer the problems of programming that. And one of the cards that we're looking at upgrading it with is one of the new Tesla cards the advantage there being double point precision. Yeah, I have a strong C background, but I hadn't done anything on the graphics card. If you know how C works, CUDA is not difficult to figure out. We started with a pile of parts that we researched online, put them together into a computer, and in the course of six months, we started from a pile of parts to having working applications. This was me and two advisors. <laughs>